I've got a question about um, an IT course that I bought and a, and a third party uh, credit company that they used. Um, roughly about 18 months ago, two years ago, I wanted to change career to become an IT engineer. Um, unfortunately, about a month into the course, I'd, I'd, I'd had an issue with my eyesight to, with glaucoma um, prior to that. But a, a month in, um, a month into the course, um, they staggered the course like one month and then leave it two months, and then you do the, the third, the second module, uh, the third month later, and, and such and such. It, 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 it take about fifteen months to finish. Anyway, after the first month, my eyesight got worse and worse, and I lost sight completely. Um, in, in my right eye as well as my left eye. Um, I, sh- I, I, sh- I told the, the training company I couldn't complete the rest of the course. I'd only completed the first module, um, r- roughly about 10 modules over the 15 months. Um, they accepted. They said, we're really sorry that you've lost your sight. Um, I sent all the consultant hospital letters and the operations I had on my eyes. And they said, yeah, we fully accept it. We, we apologise and everything. That's fine. Um, then I said, what, what, what can you write off the... Um, the, the, the four and a half thousand for the course, and they so said you have to talk to the credit agency, the third party credit agency, um, and they, the, the credit agency initially said, yeah, just send us the letters, we'll we'll, look, we'll get our managers to look at it, and it looks like we can write it off. Um, D- Darren, I'm, I'm just going to ask you some questions because I, I, I want to get to the point. Uh, I'm yeah. assuming the, the credit agency has now refused to write it off. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So that's uh, the point now. So now that initially after saying they would write it off, um, 18 months later, they're, they're still, they're still now out asking for full payment. When you say credit agency, what do you mean? Do you mean a loan company? Yeah, like a, like a loan company, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Who, who was your contract with? Did you have a contract with the college and a separate contract with the loan company to borrow the money? Or yeah. did you have a contract with a loan company who bought the course for you? So you didn't have a contract with the college? Oh, sorry. So the contract was with the, um, the, the for the finance of the course was with this with this uh, loan company. I had a separate contract with the, for the course with the with the uh, with the course provider. OK, fine. So there are two issues here. Um, there's getting the money. So the, the course provider will have been paid in full by the loan company. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. They'll have had the money. The loan company will have paid out the money for the course and they will, understandably, because they paid out the money, want that money back from you. The uh, course provider is the one who has the ability to say, we'll refund the money. They've had the money. They can refund it or not as they choose. I'll come back to whether they're legally obliged to in a second. If they refund that money, you can use the money they refund hopefully, to pay off the loan early. But there's, an important, there's probably not an important fact that I forgot to mention. The, loan, the, the course provider, they said they will offer a, a part discount of £700 towards the loan, which they said they, they sent over um, to the loan company. And the loan company told me afterwards, did you agree? To that? I didn't agree to anything. I didn't even know about it. What does a part discount mean? Presumably the loan company has already paid the course provider. Yeah, so they they said that um, so the, the the loan company are now saying instead of owing four and a half thousand, I only owe three thousand eight hundred. Got it. Okay, so so the universe the course provider has refunded seven hundred or paid off seven hundred of your debt, which I didn't even know about until the loan company told me about. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, you've borrowed the money from the loan company. You you have to pay it back. Uh, the the fact, and I'm I'm really sorry to say this, Darren, because it sounds it sounds cruel and callous, but the law isn't going to help you with getting out of a debt to the loan company because of the problems you've suffered with your eyes. Now, what the yeah. law might help you with is refusing to allow the loan company to enforce the payments as rigorously as they might otherwise do. So they might allow extra time for payment before uh, the, the court does anything serious. But interest will continue to accrue on the loan and will continue to stack up on the loan, even if the give court... Me about my give me about my eyesight. I'd love to finish the course. I, I, I understand that. I completely understand that. I mean, what, what, what is your position? Do you think the loan company should write off the loan? Is, is that what you think should happen here? I think they should show dis- uh, a discretionary uh, write-off, yeah. In, the, in this circumstance, because I'd only, I'd only just completed the first month. Yeah. Like 10 modules. Is it, is it I, I'm sounding callous, I know, I apologise for it. Is it the loan company's fault? 
Oh, well, of course not, it isn't. So why, why should they write off £4,000? Well, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, absolutely, as I'm talking about discretionary, it's, 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 I didn't yeah, want to lose I think my you're right, D- D- Darren, I totally get that. It's discretionary. I completely agree with you. The, the problem is you've called into the legal hour, and I'm here to tell you what the legal position is. Yeah, Legally, sure. okay. they're, they're not obliged to write off that loan, I'm afraid. Yeah, OK. OK, Darren, I'm sorry. I, I do feel um, for you, I'm really, really sorry. Um, I, the the course provider is actually under an obligation to make reasonable adjustments. So, in other words, to make adjustments to help you complete the course, perhaps by providing well, materials in, in a different format. Is that something you've explored? Because that is a legal well, you might Yeah, have. but they, 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 they said they, they don't, they won't, because it's costing them too much through, through the pandemic. pandemic. They've lost a lot of money. They said they can't provide that way. Um, well, I reckon you might you might have a claim in the county court against the academic institution for failing to make reasonable adjustments because you're qualified as disabled. They have the obligation yeah. to make reasonable adjustments. And if they won't do it, if there are things they could do, if if providing, um, I mean, it, would you have the ability to to use Braille or uh, large print, or would that not really work? Well, it would have to be Braille in some way, but um, but it, the, the nature of the of the job, the IT job. I mean, because you're writing code and stuff, and um, it, it'd be pretty much impossible to, to complete right. the job. Okay, so 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 the adjust they couldn't make any sensible adjustments to help you complete the course. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's that's, yeah. that's a non-starter. Darren, I'm I'm very sorry. I, I think what's happened is is terrible, um, and you know the, the the damage to your health is absolutely awful. But legally, I don't think you can compel a company that's loaned you money to write off the loan because uh, your health makes it difficult to repay it. Darren, I, I, I wish you luck, but there's not really a claim here. I'm sorry. 